blessings and blessings from my car where I just got through having a little surf session in the Pacific Ocean and uh, my surf sessions often are mixed of or comprised of two things one just deep unadulterated like just joy and play and lots of contemplation and I was thinking about how low maintenance right? low maintenance guys especially out of the way guys your needs first kind of guys are essentially martyrs are essentially in some ways some of the most angry people on the planet because a guy or person let's just say a person a person who is low maintenance easy to be around always taking care of everyone else very often someone who is operating from that type of consciousness or paradigm is and was taught that or that became a strategy from their childhood meaning the more they gave the more they were good little boys and girls the more mommy and daddy or caretaker or brother or sister or friends at school recognized them and maybe early on they realized that their needs wouldn't be met unless they were performing and the performance for a lot of the times ends up being giving right it gets disguised in this giving it gets disguised in i'm easy to be around well what what's under all of that is this wounded people pleasing paradigm that essentially is like and has become like a ticking time bomb where any day now any minute now you tick me off i'm going to explode and this is something that is very very common and thank you jamie for commenting and saying that you're working through that right now uh it's very very common and really goes below the radar for a lot of people they don't understand why they're so upset well and i can speak to this because this is something i've been working through for a lifetime the upsetness comes from trying to get it right so you're spending all this time trying to get it right, trying to make sure nobody thinks you're wrong, trying to make sure that you are seen in a particular way. And after you do all of that and you fall on your own sword and you're a martyr over and over and over again, and somebody mm, complains about something, this feels like a thorn in your ass. This feels like a poison dart going straight into your heart. Because after all, you've been washing the dishes and cleaning the house and making the money and doing this and taking care of the kid and, um, you know, doing staying late at work, helping. You've been that person. And within all of that, you still have a complaint. I still didn't get it right. Right is the most dangerous drug on the planet it is the thing that is destroying the very fabric of what we know about who we really are we spend so much time trying to get it right that we forget to just get it I just get it so many people are so have so much pent-up energy because they don't allow themselves to fully be expressed because if they were fully expressed, what would that mean? It may mean that I'm not as good or that people may judge me or that that comment that I got in church when I was nine is true. All of that becomes
content in a context that is very unattractive to many people. So, today I challenge you, for those of you who this resonates with, for those of you who, who recognize that in some ways you have experienced yourself as a ticking time bomb, I challenge you to, to really look at and ask yourself, does this serve me? Is this true for me? Do I really want to stay later or do someone else's work or wash the dishes or vacuum the house? Do I really want to? Or is it an aspect, a people-pleasing, martyr, out-of-the-way aspect of my personality, identity, that I've used as a strategy as a child to protect myself and no longer want to or choose it like which one is this my real truth or is this the people pleaser because if you can decipher between the two and then choose choose over and over again yes the authentic self the higher self if you can choose what's true for you in a moment you know a lot of people attempt to never be assholes well sometimes you're just in a crabby mood and instead of hiding and pretending and going no everything's fine it's all fine just be like yo it's not fine i want to punch you right now and i know it's not your your fault but fuck i want to punch you why not allow yourself to have that experience we've become so bottled up that it's just slipping out in other ways so go there I see a a few of you said challenge accepted beautiful my amazing tribe I'm gonna go ahead and get myself home to take a shower and get to work love and light blessings and blessings if you're a man and you're ready to go into the depths with myself and 32 other amazing humans. Man Cave is starting very soon. Go to PrestonSmiles.com forward slash Man Cave. All right. Peace, Grease. Love and light. You're watching this on YouTube. Please hit that red subscribe button if this resonated. Hurrah!